Hi everyone, welcome to Hilltop View Journals. In this video, which is going to be a introduction video, I guess, to um, the collaboration hashtag journal Jigsaw, uh, which Rach and Bella Crafts and Angela Kerr are currently running for part of March and April. Um, and in that uh, collaboration, I... I'm going to show you some ways of using collage floral flips. But to do that, I needed to create a base to work from. And this is where these two came from. And in this video, um, it's a very brief overview of how I made these. And I do actually introduce you to the template as well. So if you do get a little bit lost, please hang on until you see the template and it does make a little bit more sense and um, as part of the collaboration I'm I'm going to be journaling along with everybody else and I am um, doing this as part of a larger project to do with my garden it's funny enough um, because we're going to be embarking on a little new project um, hopefully by the end of March and so what I'm making is a project folio. Now I've got this very ugly looking box here. And this is going to be the main base of my project folio at the moment. I've just got a little uh, old journal in there just to show you the kind of dimensions. And I have made this folio topper which will go on here so forgive me you do have to have a little bit of imagination to see where i'm going with this but this will fit on there and this one will be one of my journals which fits in there now these two um well one is a well, they're both folios but this one is just going to be a folio without any type of journaling in it and it's a very simple construction and i'm not going to spend too much time going through it because you'll see at the end of the video but this is basically how it looks quite grungy quite rustic this one i made exactly the same but instead of having the pocket, which you can see, oh, where is it? There. Okay, I've got a nice little pocket there. I left it open oh, in this version. And that's where I'll be slipping in my journal, which I'm... Well, it's a signature rather than a journal, which I'm currently working on. And I'll probably be playing along in the collaboration with that. And I'll probably talk a little bit more about that in my collaboration video. So that's a very brief overview of what you're going to see in this video. I hope you enjoy and like my video. Uh, drop some comments if you've got a question. And I'd be very grateful if you'd also uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks ever so much for passing by and here we go with the show so this is the main box so you're gonna have to have a little bit of um, imagination to see uh, where I'm going with this little project but I've cut this box to the size that I want and I if anybody's interested I will do a separate exercise on how I got to this part but I've tacked it with washi tape for a minute because I need I want to leave it open because it's going to be easier to cover before I glue it all together. And I also need to strengthen it as well. But it's to a size that will fit a typical journal. So this is um, this is what I'm using as my um, example. Um, and this is just a, a woodland journal that's got lots of photos in and a bit of journaling. So it's going to go in there like that with a bit of room. And then I could put some other things in there as well. So perhaps I want to put uh, one of these books. So I could pop that in there and some papers and things like that because it's going to be a project folio. 
So that's my idea there. And what we're going to do for the collaboration is create the folio part, which is going to sit on the top. Now, here's my little um, prototype, uh, which I made last night. Um, just really quickly, randomly, just playing with flips and bits of paper and some of the background pages. Um, and it was no particular size. I just cut it while I was sitting down um, watching TV. So that's what I'm planning on doing now is making this, but to be slightly bigger, to accommodate this. Okay, that's that's the plan anyway. That's what I'm that's what I've got in my mind. So I'm just gonna move a couple of things and show you what this is like. And I can take this messy mat out the way as well. Okay. Um what I've got, so I've, I've, I've slotted this in here just to show you that this can actually be a journal. It doesn't have to be a folio if you if that's what you're doing as part of the collaboration and you're um, hopefully crafting along with us. So I'll pop that out just for a second and I will go through the flips that are involved in this little folio. And I try to keep this as simple as possible because... Um, it was just easier for me as well and I, and I wanted to be able to have the freedom to make whatever flips that I wanted rather than trying to follow um, a template. So this is um, put together because what I wanted to show you was that this, the idea I've got with this is to create a pocket uh, between there like that but you could actually have a little journal sitting in there as well so i haven't closed it up as yet but i'm more like probably i should say i'm going to glue there and glue there and create a top pocket there and i've already put the little notch you can see the little notch there okay so that's what i'm planning on doing but i could always change my mind so um here's the first flip okay and this, this is all just the base. I haven't added anything to it yet. And then we go here. Oh, so, right, start again. Here's the first bit. Then you flip the pocket. And we've got another little flip, which could also be a po pocket if you wanted to, or it can just be left open. And we flip again. So we've got plenty of space here. And then we come over this side. And this side flips that way and you've got these nice little flaps there and it flips there. And I've got a little pocket there. And as you can see, I haven't done anything else to it. I've literally just made the base. And you could put a journal there or I might actually put this. So, you know, you could do something like this if you haven't got time to make a journal. Just use a, a cheap notebook that you can um, purchase and tea dye the pages. I haven't even taken this apart, or like, because well, you can't because it's stitched. And all, all I've done is I've just painted tea on it. So what I could do is put that back there, sew that in the middle, and then I'd have a journal if I want. And I really don't know what I want at this stage. All I know is I want this project folio to sit on top of. <coughs> This very rickety box. Okay, so let's start making the folio base. So to make this, I used one of these large envelopes, um, which I will tear up now and get it into the right shape. The great thing about making something like this, and if I can show you, which is one of the reasons why I haven't really glued anything together is it is just it's it's a it's a concertina so what you can do is you can fold it any way you like so i could fold it like that and have that you know any way you like it's just one long piece of packaging paper and now i've got the odd flip which i've just glued on there and these are glued on there. 
So it's really, I haven't done anything complicated at all. It just wraps around. She says that she can't put the thing back together again. <laughs> We're going to have fun doing this. Oh, you'll never follow along, will you? Anyway, I'll give it a go. So that's the, that's the idea. So I use this one of these. And what you need to do, I, I'll put the measurements in the description box. So you've got an idea of what, what, um, what size I'm doing it. But I'm going to basically make it so that it um, sits nicely on this lush uh, cereal box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mark it where I want it. And then... I am going to measure that. Which is approximately. Let's say nine and a half inches ish. But it doesn't matter what size it is because you will make it according to the box that you've got and I think you need to try and find a box that fits the journal that you want to put inside it. If that's the way you're going to do, if that's the way you're going to go, which is what I want to do, because I want like a box that I can carry down the garden and play with to my heart's content. OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rip this off camera because it makes a heck of a noise. And I can't really show you what I'm doing on camera anyway, because we've got this very small square and I'll come back and then we can start making the flips and flaps of the project folio. OK, I'm happy with that. It was slightly smaller than the, what did I say, 17 and a half. But because I had a natural fold in the paper, I just went with it. Okay, I tried to get it as straight as I can. When I did this one, I ripped most of it and guesstimated. I mean, you can see it's all scrappy and... Well, I haven't even bothered covering the uh, Amazon marks but I'm you know <laughs> I'm quite happy with that anyway and what I wanted to say when you're cutting your bit of paper you know, any any packaging will do if it's a bit flimsy then just double it up and stick it together and you can actually create even more pockets by doing that but keep the flaps and and go with whatever flaps you've got left you don't have to do exactly as what I'm doing you can just create flaps as and when and also keep, I mean, like, mm, yeah, possibly won't. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm trying not to think about it. Um, but keep these bits as well, because these will be also useful for creating pockets and additional flaps. So I'll be keeping that. And so you can use any type of paper. So I'm just having a look what else I've got here. So here I've got a some... Go vegetable bags. You could rip these up, stick them together, iron them out, fold them, and use that. Any type of packaging paper. You could go with white packaging paper. You can get more of a greyish packaging paper. I like the Amazon version or the Amazon bag because it's quite robust, so it will withstand a little bit. So we've got our base. Let's start with the next section. So the best way I can describe how to do these folds is to make a template. And I made this out of paper. And I stuck a little bit of paper together because I didn't quite have a piece of paper long enough. So for each fold that you've got, I've numbered it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flip it over, and then you have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you've basically got six panels. So I'm just going to fold those in like that. 
and I'll pop this under there because it keeps on jumping up. On my prototype, I've numbered the panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flip it over. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven, there's twelve. And I got a one on the end. Lucky number thirteen. Okay. So I can see here now, if I go to this end panel, panel number seven, there's my panel number seven. I know that I've got to stick on these two little flaps. So I've cut these. They're not to size. I just cut them quickly. But I know here I'm going to be sticking some panels. So let's put some glue on here. That's number seven. Where else have I got a flap? I've got a flap here. Now I've got a flap here between 10 and 11. So let's find 10 and 11. There's 10. And there's 11. So the flap is stuck on number 11. So let me get number 11. And let's put that flap on there. Okay, there's the flap. That's the flap that goes on number 11. And as you can see, that flap there on number 11 doesn't fit the whole page. And neither does this one. And there's number 12. So I can see there on number 12, I've also got a flap. So that's on number 12 and that's number one. So... There's number 12, there's number one. So I have got a flap. There, so let's pop that on. Now, there are lots of designers that design these types of folios, all cut out, nice view. People like Victoria Designs, um, who else? Um, Pink Monarch Prints, My Porch Prints. Um, yeah, so you can you can buy these, but I think it's fun to make your own because when you make your own, you can stick the flaps wherever you like, and you can flip and flap as much as you want. Okay, so I've got all my flips and everything. So there's number one. So now I'm going to put it together. Okay, so I know how this goes. So I know that goes like that and that goes like that. And I know that goes in there. That goes in there. No, nope, that goes in there like that. And then it all folds together. Okay. So I've got to find number 10. Let's find number 10. Here's my number 10. There's number 10, and there's the flap. Here. That flap goes to the front. So number 10, and the flap. Yeah. Then this opens up to number 11 and number 12. So that opens up. Two, number 11 and number 12. So I've got 11 there and I've got 12 there. And that folds there. And I've got number 1 and I've got number 13 there. So that goes like that. Are you with me so far? So we are here. This opens up that way. And I've got number two and number three. 
and I'm going to pull these out. Number two, number three, and then number four and number seven. Or is it number five? Mm. So there's number three. So that goes like that. Ah, number four, number five. Let's fold these out again. Okay, so here we are. Here's my number one. There's my number four. There's my number five. This is my number six, which folds in there. That's my flaps, number seven. This folds in there. A little bit squiffy, but that's how it works. That's number eight. That's number eight. That folds there to number nine, which is the back. And this is number 10, which is there. And then this is the front. So I'll write front on there. So this is how it works. And it's just a little bit of fun. And that's it. And the next stage is to cut your pieces to match. Now, here is my actual... This is my base. And I did iron it. There's still quite a lot of creases and it can become a little bit confusing. And I haven't got all my flaps on there yet, but I will I will do my flaps now. And what I'll do then is I will cut all the pieces to go round the edge. And then I will show you the next stage. So I'll cut my pieces, but I'll speed it up. And I'll do it using this one because it's, it's you can you can see that it's probably easier, isn't it? So I need to do that first. And I'm going to use my cut dots. If you want to make this part easier, then just square it and just have a, you can, you can just round off the edges with a corner punch. But I fancied having something like that, which I might regret later and I might even change my mind and just do something different. So I'm going to put all this together now. I'm just going to add in my panels, which let's go back to the prototype here. There's no panels on here because it's going to be, um, added together but if you were going to use this um, as a journal in space and put a signature in there then you would need you would need to add that but I'm not going to do that I'm going to have it as a pocket because I want to shove stuff in there um, so I'm going to go and um, glue everything down now and 
do a little bit of sewing and come back and show you the um and that, something that hopefully looks something like this so i've cut all my panels up and i got all my flips in there um nothing's glued together so it kind of falls apart when i open it so i won't open it at this stage but before i do anything more i need to sort where the closure is going to go so i'm thinking on the back um, let's have a look at this one it's number nine i'm going to stick the closure underneath this panel here like that before i sew it now you don't have to sew you could just ink around the edges and glue them down really well. Um, I'm going to do a bit of sewing to make it a little bit more rustic looking because that's the prompt that I'm doing. So I'm going to keep that in there to make sure I don't forget because I always forget about my closure. And if you have a look in this one, I haven't done the closure, but this is panel number nine. Um, and um, so I would just stick something over there if I'm going to use this one and I'm going to ink all around each one of these and sew them and I'm thinking of trying to sew them onto each panel rather than sew the bits and then stick them on and as you can see here as I was cutting I put names on them just in case they get detached and I forget which piece goes where so I'm going to go off now and do a little bit of inking, which I'm sure you don't need to see, um, and have a go at sewing and let you know how I get on. So having finished sewing this, I would suggest that you sew each panel individually because you can see mine is rather scrappy. And I figured with the time that I've got available before I got to get this up on YouTube, I would cut some corners. Um, and yeah, you can see that by my sewing. Um, it's gone quite awry in a few places. But anyway, this is supposed to be a rustic journal or a rustic folio, I should say. Could still be a journal and I will show you that in a second. I've just switched on my hot glue because I am now going to put my finishing touches in terms of the flaps or flips. These aren't all the flips I'm planning, but these are the main ones that I need to glue in. And before I do that, I just want to put a knot um, I'm just going to put a very thin notch there and I will go around all the edges as well off camera okay so the first one I need to do is I've got this flap here and this is going to fit on there like that and that's going to be the front some washi tape down there so that it doesn't catch when you're putting something in the pocket and then i believe i need a flip on number what number is this i have written them down somewhere but i've written them quite thinly number one couldn't have for the life of me see number one so there we are so number one so i've got this flip here and that's this one okay so Oh, I've written it upside down. Hang over on the notch. So I will just nip that, I think. Okay, so that's that one. And then I've got... Um, okay, so I've got a pocket there. 
I just want to rub off that number six, just in case I forget. And I've got my flips here. So I've got that one there. So let's pop that on first. My pocket. Okay, so what I need to do is glue the bottom. Now you do need a strong glue uh, for this. So Fabri-Tac or something like um, Bailey Arc Glue or Arc Glitter Glue. Something strong. And I'm going to slowly put a bead of glue there. Oh, and that's what I forgot to say. Um, if you do um, the panels, or when you do the panels, whether you stitch or not, it doesn't really matter. But when you glue the panels down, you could always leave some of them open to give yourself additional pockets. Now, I didn't want to do that, but that is definitely something that you can do. Okay, I forgot what I was doing now. Oh, yeah. Pocket. I uh, just need to... Pop that there. And then... Glue it down. Seem to be missing a bit there. And I will be putting some buttons on there, but not right now. Um, and I haven't covered these flips. Now, two reasons. One, because I don't quite know right at this minute in time what the closure is going to be. It's probably going to be some kind of brad or eyelet. Um, and if it is, then I can then cover that with that. But I do actually quite like that I've got these pockets there. Um, but I may need to cover them, so I'm just going to leave that like that for now. And I think that's it. So let's see how this is looking. So I've managed to remember my closure. Okay. And I'm going to turn my glue gun off. Too bulky, but I'll just chuck that in there for a second. Oop. So you can see that there is enough room to put a signature in here, if you so wish. And I may still leave that open just in case I change my mind and do that as well. We we leave it, yeah we leave our options open I think, um, but for the minute what is planned is a pocket. So I've done a little bit of work. Uh, since I last came on camera to this. Um, not much, but a little bit. So I'll show you what I've done before I finish this short tutorial. I've grunged up all the panels and where you can see that I've got creases and folds, I've gone with it uh, just to really um, make it more of a rustic vibe. I decided to make the pocket and I'll show you why in a minute but um, I do need to actually um, seal the bottom so I'll just do that quickly with my glue gun while I remember there we go that's that job done so we've got the front there and then we open it up 
and we've got a flip there and we've got a pocket here let me just pop something in there so you can see where the pop pocket is and just pop that envelope in there like that and then we've got another panel that i can play with there panel there panel there haven't done the buttons yet that's going to be in my collaboration video okay and i've got another flip there there's a nice lovely crease for you um flip there and it closes and then it ties i also had a play with this little one and what i decided because i've sewn that pocket up i've decided to keep this one open to make it into a journal so i'll be using this um as part of my collaboration but also uh, to play along and all i've done i haven't even grunged these up yet or i haven't even rubbed the numbers out but you can you can get the idea so i've added this little um embellishment there which i had to do because i dropped a button with glue all over the front of this so i kind of spoiled it so i quickly added that to it um and then where there is a pocket in the other version this is the open part so i've strengthened the spine with two pieces of fabric and there's also some packaging paper underneath that as well no packaging tape i should say this is going to be the signature which i'm going to sew in as i play along in it but i've got a little bit of work to do on that and just to say this was um I made this in Rachel Bella Crafts Retreat, which was a couple of weeks ago now, I think. Or was it last weekend? I can't remember. Um, and this was um, a live tutorial by the Angela Kerr. Oh, it was so awesome. I can't tell you. Oh, I loved it. I can't recreate what I made because I, I can't remember how to do it. But anyway, I'm sure she's got something like that um, as part of her um, video, her video collection. So you can go along to her channel and have a look so that's going to be my signature and then i've got another flip there and a panel and i've got a panel there panel there panel there just like the other one i've got my flips there which i need buttons on i've got a pocket there and then it all wraps up oops like that <laughs> and every time i wrap it up it turns out different it's hilarious <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this <laughs> very short and confusing tutorial. Um, but anyway, yeah, just um, please like <laughs> this video if um, if you've enjoyed following along. And I'd love it if you subscribed. And any questions you have, please drop them in the comments. Thank you. <laughs>